<laughs> what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, King Frost, and we are back with another video. All right, the other day I was on YouTube, you know, browsing some videos, and I came across one of my uh, old friends. His video was a sneaker collection. So I was thinking, hmm, that's a good video option. I'll do that too, because <laughs> as some people know, as some of my friends know, I'm a major sneakerhead. Like, I love collecting shoes, any type, Jordans, Nikes, Adidas. Pretty much any types of shoes I like, I will get them, like, right then and there. So, without any further ado, let's hop into this video. Alright, so starting off, we're gonna start with the Air Jordan Superfly 5s. And I got the blue color because when I first bought these, I was thinking of like basketball and like, uh, school. Just, I really like the style of them. They, they are really, really comfortable. They're really good basketball shoes. Sometimes I wear them just to like, for style. Um, but they're a really good shoe overall. I like them. And I bought these actually in the Christmas time with all my Christmas money that I got. So yeah, these are these are really really comfortable. I do like these, and it has a little flight plate on it. And at a ten, I would give them about an eight because they're also they're old. I had them since I was in like ninth grade, so they're old, but they're still pretty comfortable. But I I would rate them uh, an eight. Shoes we're gonna do are the Retro Jordan uh, Five Blacks. I got these along with the other Jordans that I had. Superfly Blues. They're actually a really good playing shoe. I've I only played in them about a few times, not an actual game, but like practice or uh, three on three with some of my friends. Um, but these are these are a really good playing shoe, shockingly. Um, otherwise, the only time I actually wear them are for when I'm going out. Um, you know, just to wear them for to wear them. Um, but overall, they're a really good shoe. Uh, rated at ten, I give them a nine. The, ne the last pair of Jordans that I have are the Jordan Futures. These are probably the best Jordans that I have out of my group because they're really super light. They're very, very comfortable. Um, I would not rate these as a plain shoe only because they are very slippery. Um, they they are not very supportive unlike the, the Superflies and the Retro 5 Blacks. It's just not a... They're not a comfortable shoe. I mean, they are for me. They're a little dirty only because I've worked on them a few times. But these are actually a really, really comfortable shoe. So I would definitely give these a ten out of ten for comfort. Um, playing wise, I would not even rate it because they're just not a good playing shoe. Period. Um, like I said, I do these. I wear these mostly, which is just for style and uh, just wear them to wear them. You know what I'm saying? So. Next, you're going to jump into are my basketball shoes. They're actually, basketball shoes that I've worn to play actual games in. The first ones we're gonna start with are Adidas. Um, don't know what actually kind they are. I literally, I just bought these Adidas because I was on my freshman year. My, we had a team shoe, but I wasn't able to get the team shoe. So I got a shoe that replicated the shoe, which is actually, they actually looked very similar in a way. Um, they're actually still pretty comfortable. I've only worn them for a few games every now and then. Um, overall rating, I'd give it a seven and a half, only because they're old, they're from my freshman year, just like my other ones were, but, um, I have worn these in a lot of games, um, I haven't worn them since my freshman year. Since we're gonna jump into is my sophomore year, my grandma actually got these for me, um, only because we were going for, like, a black kind of, black and white kind of shoe color that year, don't know why we didn't go blue. These are the Nike Hyper Dunks, um, they're really good playing shoe. Um, they still have a lot of comfort in them only because I didn't wear them that much, but I wore them a few times. Um, only to play in. I haven't worn them to walk around or anything. I've only worn them to play in. I give them an, I would actually give them an eight and a half because they're comfortable. They have an okay look to them. But yeah, I like them. They're comfortable. Good, really good playing shoes. Um, so I would definitely recommend these. These are Nike Hyper Dunks. Next shoe we're going to hop into are uh, Nike, um, I forgot what they call these, 
These are called the Nike Zooms, actually. Um, <laughs> I actually didn't get these from like an expensive store. I got these from a shoe department store that sold them pretty uh, cheaply, maybe from at least $15, maybe at the max. They're a really good playing shoe. They have a really, really good grip on them. Um, they're actually quite comfortable. I wore these my junior year because we were going for like a blue color that year again. So I wore these my junior year and I wore these for only games. I haven't worn them other than that. Practice, games, pretty much. Um, they're really comfortable shoe. They have a good style look to them and everything. Um, they blended in with most of our team team colors, except for one kid who wore like Kobe's and like they're red and black, sometimes green. Or anything. But um, overall rating, I give them an eight because they're a really good shoe. Um, but they're old. See, they're falling apart right there. I don't know how they're so old. They just worn like my junior year. So the final pair of basketball shoes that I actually wore in the game are these Nike Hyper Dunk 2016 IDs. Now these are really, really, really comfortable. I'm not gonna lie, they have a good high ankle waistband. I have weak ankles, so like these actually help my ankles a lot. They're very, very breathable. Um, they're really, really comfortable. They have a really good grip on the floor. They have a really nice design back here. Um, it's these are just overall a really, really good shoe. Definitely a 10 out of 10. Haven't worn them since my last game of my senior year because we, as these were our actual team shoes. The whole team had these shoes. And they are a really, really comfortable shoe. So definitely 10 out of 10. Only worn for games. Haven't worn them since. Um, but they're also comfortable because they have this little bubble right here. Um, overall, 10 out of 10. Great, great shoe. Definitely would get these. 2016 Hyperdome uh, IDs. Nike. Really comfortable. Shoe we're going to jump into are the um, tennis shoes. I, would say, I guess so. Um... Most of my tennis shoes are Nikes. I don't really have that other, that much of other pairs. I do have a pair of Adidas. Guys, I'm also sniffling. I'm allergies are cutting up for me. You hear me sniffling on and off. It's because my allergies are messed up right now. All right, so the first pair we're gonna jump into. These are my first Nike tennis shoes. Um, my grandma bought them for me. They were a really good discount. They're free run threes. These are very comfortable. The sole is kind of wearing down on them a little bit because I've worn them for so long. Um, very comfortable. Um. I rate them an eight and a half out of ten. Um, they have a good look to them. That's what I originally had them for. I got them for like wearing all all time around, all time around. Um, I wear them all the time. They're kind of they're getting kind of old. They're tearing up right there on each side, right in the same spot. Um, they're good shoe, very comfortable. They're five point I also have a pair of six point but those are really really dirty because I wore them in a race. And I've worn them cutting the grass and everything. So they're downstairs. Um, they're gray and lime green. Those are 6.0s free runs. But um, those are also a good pair of shoes. They're very comfortable. These are comfortable. I got these. I got this pair and the other pair at the same rate of time. Um, I probably rate them both an eight and a half because they're very comfortable. They're also getting old for me, but um, very comfortable shoe. Nike Free Run 3s. These are the 5.0s and then I have 6.0s. Next shoe we're going to get two for the Nikes are the Nike furies um i actually got these for track i used to run track back in sophomore year and these are really really comfortable um the laces however they were really long didn't really like the laces that much uh you see their little 30 right there on the sides because i wore these in a, a race one time not too long ago and they're flexible really flexible they're breathable they're really really comfortable um, I'd rate these a uh, eight and a half also. Next shoe we're gonna hop into are the, uh, Nike, uh, I actually don't know what these are called. Um, I found them in a, uh, shoe, sh shoe store about at least three months ago at the Mac. Saw the design, I liked them, they are very, very comfortable. I got them for New York. Um, and the video I just posted last about the New York trip, I wore these, like, the whole entire time we were in New York because they were comfortable. They were a very good shoe. They're getting dirty. I'm wearing them as work shoes now, around the uh, outside around the house when I'm doing yard work or whatever. But these are really comfortable shoes. I would rate these nine out of 10. They're very, very comfortable. Uh, like I said, I don't know what kind these are. I just know they're Nikes. I'm not sure if you know what type, if you know what kind of uh, Nike shoes these are, leave it down in the comments below. And uh, thank you for letting me know that. The final shoe I have for Nike are by far my favorite ones. I actually got these in New York not too long ago 
and I am in love with them. I don't know what these are called, but these are just, I love the design on them. I love the shape, the feel is so comfortable. I like how it doesn't, the tongue doesn't separate from the actual shoe, because that's a plus. Um, I have a special way of doing my laces, of course. But the design, the color, the the white on the black on the white, it just blends in perfectly. And it has little designs of plastic. I don't know if you can really see that. They have like little designs right here. Um, they're really really comfortable too. Ten out of ten on my part. Um, because I don't know what kind these are. These are very comfortable. I think they just released these not too long ago. Um, by Nike. So definitely ten out of ten for these. Next shoe are the Adidas that I also got from New York. These are Adidas Cloud Foams. Very, very comfortable. They have memory foam um, soles. I like them because I like the I like the design. It has this um, plastic Adidas part. It, do, it doesn't, I think that's what may show from the back that people really like. It has this camo design that I like. It's only, it's my only Adidas tennis shoe. They're just really, really comfortable, 10 out of 10. Not just because I got them in the brand new, but these are really, really comfortable. Um, I wear them around like if I have this I have this shirt on it kind of blends in with the color a little bit for the camo um, My friend actually just bought me an Adidas hat. That's the one go that blend that goes along with it So it's like a whole outfit. I have another shirt that goes along with these shoes, but uh 10 out of 10 for sure for the Adidas memory foam uh, Super Definitely comfortable. Now the other pair of Adidas that I have are the LSU Adidas I call them the LSU Adidas only because you know the purple and yellow. I'm an LSU fan um I like the I like the design right here in the Adidas. I got these from Foot Locker a while ago. They're still pretty comfortable. They're really big. Laces are extremely long. Couldn't really fix them. I couldn't really like get another pair, but I got I fixed them in a way where they can, you know, they you still see the high top and you don't see the laces much. Um, these are comfortable. I would rate them an eight out of ten. I don't know if you'd wear these all the time. You have to find something. Well, for me. I have to find something that would go along and match these shoes. Um, I do like them though, that I do wear them every now and then with my LSU stuff. Um, but yeah, I definitely would wear them an 8 out of 10. They're very comfortable, very, very comfortable. They they would definitely look good with some pair of joggers and an LSU shirt, purple gold shirt, Kobe shirt, whatever. Um, you could also count these as Laker shoes, because Laker and LSU are the same color. Um, but yeah, definitely a good pair of shoes. 8 out of 10. Shoes we're going to get into are... I don't really know what these are. I found them at a Route 21 up in Slidell somewhere. And they're an off-brand shoe. They they say that they're carbon. I don't know what that means. Um, But I heard someone tell me that they were a Skate 3 shoe or whatever. I don't know if that's true. I'm not really a skater fan. I got this shoe because I like the design. The way they looked. It's a high top. I really like high tops. They look good with a nice pair of joggers. They're very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. I, I rated them nine out of ten. Um, I didn't pay too for, too much for them. They're very comfortable. Though. Very, very comfortable. Sole. The sole is cloth, so it doesn't have a good grip to it. But um, overall, it's a really nice pair. They did come with black laces, I believe. I switched them to white only because the white looked a lot better with them. But um, yeah, definitely good pair of shoes. Definitely good pair of shoes. These are kind of like casual shoes. Uh, I wear these on and off from the, from the now um, around the house. Um, so the first ones we're gonna dive into are my Nike slides. Um, I actually got these for my birthday when I was turned 15, and these are really comfortable. They're rubber. You can wear them around the pool if you have a pool somewhere. Um, very comfortable. Eight out of ten. Next pair of slides that I have are another Nike slides. Um, I got these because they were green. Now, if you can't tell, green is pretty much my favorite color. So they went along very well. They're very comfortable. They have that memory foam, so they won't wear out as much. Um, you know, very comfortable. They're they're getting old. I've had these for a while, but I would rate them a uh, eight and a half out of ten because they have comfort. They look nice, but you know, I wouldn't give them like that ten out of ten kind of slide because I only have two pairs of slides. But these these are. These are where they're at, right here. I do like these pairs that I'm about to show you. These are some of my favorite pairs. Most of the only ones I do have that I wear out most of the time, you know. So, yeah. First ones we're gonna get into are the all black bands. Now, they do look small. Um, funny story behind these. 
I went to a shoe department and I saw them. Of course, like the men's vans, if you can tell, they have a higher top. These have a lower top. And there's a reason why. These are women vans. I did not I did not realize they were women's at first until the guy was like, Are you sure these are you sure they, you know like these are women's shoes? And I was like, They're women's shoes? And he's like, Yeah. And I was like, Well, they're comfortable, they fit me very, very well, you know, I'm gonna get them anyway. They're very comfortable. Um, women, <laughs> nine out of ten guys, you know, it depends. Again, I have a small and narrow foot, so I mean they fit me very, very well. Um I don't really care if you guys have roast on me. Women's shoes, black, all black bands, they, they look nice. I don't care, we all care. I think, um, I rate them high because they're very comfortable. But yeah. Next pair, um, you can consider these vans. Some people call them vans when I'm walking by, when I'm walking with them, or they just look and they'd be like, oh, nice vans. These are actually an American Eagle kind of, sh uh, American Eagle factory shoe. Um, they're all red, well, not all red. They're red and white, you know. I actually, funny story about these two, um, I got these for 4th of July because they were red, and these are only my, these are the only red pairs of shoes I have, so I really like them, they're very comfortable, uh, they go with some of my shirts that I have, you know, slip on, oh, strings attached, um, 7 out of 10, for sure. Next pair are American Eagle factory shoes, all white, <laughs> um, now, for the, I used to wear these all the time. I love the white shoes. They looked really good. I have some outfits that looks good. That looks good with them. Um, with this, with these shoes, is uh, the tongues are velcro, so they don't stay attached. As you can see, this one, this one fell apart thanks to my good friend Paolo. Go check his out. I'll leave a link in the description for his channel. Um, we were we were out playing one day at school, and he decided to step on my shoe and break my shoe. So now this part's broke. I try to duct tape, it doesn't really work. I don't wear them that much often because of that. Uh, they're getting a little dirty. These are actually my second pair that I got because the first pair, they broke because someone stepped on them. Not, not Paolo, but Paolo stepped on the second pair and broke them. Thanks, Paolo. Next pair we're jumping into are, again, one of my favorites, Converse. These are the only pair of Converse that I have. I did have another pair um, a while back. They were getting really old. They were falling apart, so I threw them away. These are, of course, as you can see, green Converse. I did get these out of Journeys. They are really, really comfortable. They still have a little bit of sole on them left. Um, definitely, definitely, if you have a Journeys near you, go go there, get some Paris Converse. They're really comfortable. They also sell these little shoestring cl uh, clips that actually hold your sh hold your shoestring in so you don't have to like, you, like keep on tying them or anything. Tie them the way you want them, put them in there, and you're good. All you have to do is just slip them on when you're ready to put them on. Uh, Converse, 9 out of 10. The last pair of common shoes that I wear around the house, or sometimes every now and then go out with, are Toms. Now, um, a few of my friends had Toms for a while. I didn't really want them because they didn't really look that great on them. But I was like, I wore them, and my girlfriend wears them. And I was like, those look really, really good. Shockingly, we have matching pairs of Toms. I didn't do this on purpose. I didn't realize it until after the fact. After I bought them, I was like, wait a minute. We have matching shoes. This is Bob's, mine are Toms. Um, but then again, you know, it doesn't really matter. They are actually comfortable. Um, would not recommend wearing with socks. More of just slip-on kind of shoe with, uh, no socks. Um, give them 10 out of 10. They have a really good look to them. Mine are getting a little dirty, as you can see. Um, very comfortable, though. Very, very comfortable. They're very breathable. Um, 10 out of 10, for sure. Up into a different category, as I call it, dressy shoes. Now, I love dressing up just one of my facts about me dressing up is one of my favorite things to do especially if it's like a wedding a prom or anything I love doing that so of course I have to give me some shoes now these are all the shoes that I have dressing up I do have another few pair every now and then um but I don't I'm not gonna show them because they're not really that great they're like an all black dress shoe or all brown dress. I'm not gonna show those because this is just boring you want to see the actual fun stuff so let's hop into that so the first dress shoe you could say are Sperry's. Now, I actually had to get these for school. These were a school shoe. Um, I switched up a lot. I do have a pair of penny loafers. Again, all black, but I hate those. I have them stuffed in a box somewhere else in my other closet because they're just uncomfortable. I always got blisters from them and they just were not that great. Now, on Sperry's on the hand, they did a good job on switching the shoes, but then again, 
why use the two anyway? We were doing fine with any black or white shoe that we were doing. Sperry is very comfortable, 7 out of 10. We have okay looks, very comfortable though. So that's that's one of the reasons why. Um, Chris Sperry is very comfortable, you know, bone pad shoes. As uh, most people say, they're rich people shoes. I don't know. Um, the only thing with Sperry's is they're very expensive. I don't know why, it's literally just a regular shoe, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. 7 out of 10. Now, these pair of shoes are oh, probably one of my favorites. I got these when I was um, going up homecoming my, if I remember correctly, I think it was my sophomore year. Uh, I was homecoming, my head, my date had wore blue, so I was like, I'm gonna go all out. I was wearing a white tie, so I decided, heck, I'm gonna get some white shoes. Um, so these are Stacy Adams. They're alligator skin white shoes. And I gotta tell you, these are literally my favorite dress shoes. Um, I haven't worn them that much. They do sound like a he they do sound like I have uh, high heels on, which is kind of funny. Um, very comfortable. They're very slippery right here, so you have to be careful on like some like uh, stock uh, tile or stuff like that. Um, very comfortable shoe. I give these a nine out of ten. Um, be careful with them because they do get scuffed up, as you can see. They're getting they're getting stuffed uh, scuffed up. On the corners right there but these are very very comfortable shoes they're they won't break at all they will not break these are very very comfortable of course since i'm a my dressy kind of guy you always have to find another pair of white shoes these are actually really really comfortable i wore these for my graduation and these are really comfortable very easy slip on shoes you know uh nothing wrong with that um i did try and wear a uh pair of dress shocks with these and they slip too much for these um they have a really nice rubber sole so they won't slip as much they're kind of, they're kind of as unlisted i don't really know what they're called but i like the little the little design um thing right here very comfortable all white haven't i've only worn them once for graduation I haven't worn them since because i had no reason to wear them but uh if you ever going out you know wedding prom homecoming whatever these are the ones to wear well, ladies and gentlemen, the final pair of my shoes. I have, I counted, I had 28 pairs of shoes. That shows you how much love you have for a sneakerhead. From a sneakerhead. And, uh, these are almost a prized possession kind of shoes. Um, I've only worn them once, just like my other ones. I, I got them recently. Um, I wore them for my homecoming with my girlfriend. My recent, my just now girlfriend, we are coming up on 10 months. Not too, not too far away. <laughs> Um, David Stone shoes, and ladies and gentlemen, you have a pair of blue suede shoes. Um, they're very similar to the white ones that I had. Um, of course, they're not, you know, they're not that rubber, they're actually suede, blue suede shoes. They have a glossy, um, hook here, unlike the other ones, they had like a, uh, I think it was like copper, silver mix kind of platinum, uh, clip. These have a better, uh, sole. They're, um, leather sole so it's very very comfortable you can wear dress socks with these if you wanted the only problem with these shoes is this part is not as you know sturdy as you may seem they slip a lot um it's not that really good rubber it's rubber that's not good rubber so you slip a lot um very comfortable shoes definitely like i said wear them for prom you know homecoming all that that is it from Sneakerhead Frost. Um, guys, it has been an honor, uh, you know, showing you all my shoes. I was gonna do this one day, and uh, last night I was, you know, searching up videos and saw sneaker a Sneakerhead collection, and so I was like, I'm gonna do that. That's the video I'm gonna do next. So yeah, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, not only am I also a Sneakerhead, I'm also a hat uh, collector. I have a literally a clothes basket basket bin full of hats so uh look guys and we can get 10 likes 10 likes on this video i will do a hat video show you all the hats i have um i had a rack of hats in my other room i moved into this room kind of and i brought all my hats in here but i haven't hung them up yet um i'm planning to do a uh, hat rack on this back wall right here behind me so that way i'll have all my hats you know in a box so you know, been. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, 10 likes and I'll do a hat video for you guys, show you all my hats. 
Um, anyway, that's it for me today. Hit that subscribe button down below, turn the bell icon for videos so you can get notified when I post a video, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.